Hello and welcome to our video on shelf life. Perennia's Food and Beverage Innovation Center can test the shelf life of food products. The first step to testing your product's shelf life is to understand the background and importance of communicating this key information to your customers and consumers. First, let's look at the regulations. In Canada, the food and drug regulations require prepackaged foods with a durable life of 90 days or less to be labeled with date markings and storage instructions. The food manufacturer must determine whether the durable life is less than or greater than 90 days. Regardless, shelf life declaration is often a customer requirement and will help you protect your brand. During a food's durable life, the food must retain its freshness, taste, nutritional value, and any other qualities claimed by the manufacturer as defined by the Canadian Food Inspection Agency, CFIA. The shelf life statement needs to be presented as per CFIA requirements, including the bilingual month abbreviations. If your product is to be stored frozen or refrigerated, this must also be clearly indicated on the label. The approach to measuring shelf life depends on the type of food. One of the first questions our innovation team will ask is whether your product requires freezing or refrigeration, or is it shelf stable? The next question we will look at is what microorganisms are of concern based on the product's properties and how it is stored. There are many limiting factors that can affect your shelf life, which change based on your product itself, its storage method, and the type of packaging used. Let's discuss shelf stable products or those that do not require refrigeration or freezing. The shelf life of these products is limited by oxidation. Oxidation is a reaction that occurs between oxygen and the food that can be affected by the type of food product, amount of oxygen, and exposure to light. It can limit your shelf life. It is extremely important that shelf stable products are stored in appropriate packaging to prevent off notes or losses in fresh flavor, color changes, or nutrient loss. Perennia's food scientists can help you evaluate your packaging options considering your specific product and capabilities. Now let's consider refrigerated products. Are these products ready to eat or do they require a cooking step? For a refrigerated ready to eat or RTE product, you will need to determine the risk for Listeria monocytogenes, a pathogenic bacteria that can grow at refrigeration temperatures. If your product is a Category 2B product, Listeria is likely not a risk, but other microorganisms may be. This will be considered before we enter your product into its shelf life study. For more information on Listeria risk assessment, see the section on Control Measures for Listeria Monocytogenes in Ready to Eat Foods on the CFIA's website. At freezer temperatures, microorganisms do not grow. However, they can survive, so it is still important to consider the microorganisms that can grow in your product once it is thawed. Does your product require cook before consuming instructions or how soon it needs to be consumed once thawed? Also, if enzymes are present in your product, this can dramatically reduce shelf life. We will also consider what analytical properties are important to your product such as pH and water activity. If these properties fluctuate unexpectedly, it can be an indicator of something going wrong with your product. A shelf life study at Perennia will also include an evaluation of your product's sensory properties over time, such as appearance, taste, and texture, using an in-house sensory panel. The questionnaire that panelists answer will be specific for your product and will let us know what changes occur over time and when we reach a point that the product is no longer acceptable. You may be wondering, how long does a shelf life study take? This will depend on your target shelf life. Perennia has capabilities for accelerated testing, which requires samples to be placed at elevated temperatures to see how the product reacts in a shorter time frame. Accelerated testing is not available for all product types and it's only an approximation of shelf life. A real-time study is the best and most true indication of your product's actual shelf life. 
This is the most common method of a shelf life study in which the food is stored under its expected conditions. Your product may fail before your target date, or it could surpass it. This will be determined by our food scientists who will analyze your laboratory and sensory results. At a minimum, you can expect your results to take as long as your target shelf life. At your best before date, the product has passed microbiological and analytical tests and the quality remains acceptable to sensory panelists. Keep in mind, your product can suffer temperature abuse during distribution and retail display. While a shelf life study holds the products in controlled conditions, so you may need to be conservative when you decide your final shelf life. If your product falls short of your target shelf life, we can also help with solutions to extend your shelf life. Perennia's food scientists can discuss a variety of options, such as a packaging change, ingredient additions, or alterations to your process. Depending on your product type, there are lots of possibilities to explore. There are many considerations when defining the shelf life of your food products. The best method to use will depend on the food product type and the needs of your unique business. If you are looking for assistance to determine shelf life or extend the shelf life you currently have, get in touch with our food scientists at Perennia.